breathing as nature intended, the Esselinger theory, no more breath holding for healing, relaxing and energizing. The anatomy of breath. The respiratory system is all the body's organs that take in gas exchange, taking in oxygen and expelling carbon dioxide. The respiratory system starts at the nose and mouth and ends in the lungs at the alveoli, where gas exchange occurs. It is divided into the upper and lower respiratory tract. The upper respiratory tract includes the nose, pharynx, and larynx. The lower respiratory tract consists of the trachea, bronchus, bronchioles, alveolar ducts, and alveoli. Advantages of nose breathing. The simple, act of breathing through the nose warms and humidifies the air, allowing for increased oxygen extraction in the alveolar space, which reduces exposure to foreign substances. Humidifies and warms inhaled air. Increases airflow to arteries, veins, and nerves. Increases oxygen uptake and circulation. Slows down breathing. Improves lung volume. Helps your diaphragm work properly. A medically normal respiratory rate is 12 to 20 times a minute. According to James Nestor in his book, Breath, the optimal resting respiratory rate is 5.5 breaths a minute. However, breathing is affected by many things. The respiratory rate increases when the body's activity increases, possibly due to activity, stress, anxiety, worry, pain or the perception of anxiety and stress, which increases the body's need for oxygen. The brain recognizes the oxygen needed and sends messages via the phrenic nerve to the diaphragm to breathe faster. The vagus nerve, which innervates the heart and lungs, also responds to the lungs to supply more oxygen, and the heart pumps more oxygen and glucose to power the body's cells. Inhalation Inhalation is breathing in oxygen by pushing out the abdomen, which gives room for the diaphragm to move down, which creates more space in the thoracic cavity allowing expansion of the two lower lobes of the lungs. The lower lobes of the lungs have more alveoli, air sacs, and blood vessels, increasing the volume of oxygen transported to the cells. Another benefit of a deep abdominal breath is the tugging of the diaphragm on the vagus nerve, which stimulates the release from the brain endorphin, serotonin, and melatonin, the relaxation hormones. I learned as a nurse anesthetist that breathing is a 1 to 2 ratio, which means breathing out is twice as long as breathing in. My theory states that inhalation to exhalation is a 1 to 1 ratio with a pause or a 1, 1 to 1 ratio. Breathing in and out is automatic, as nature intended, and the time of each breath is about the same. Breathing in, inhalation, is for 1 to 1.5 seconds. Breathing out, exhalation, is for 1.5 to 2 seconds. There is no pause at the peak of inspiration. However, there is a pause at the end of exhalation. Breathing cycle review. There is no inhalation or exhalation between breaths. There is a natural pause between exhalation and inhalation which allows the carbon dioxide reset and stimulate the next breathing cycle. The belly breath. When you listen to your deep abdominal diaphragmatic breath, you can hear yourself breathing in and out through your nose. You may also notice that as you breathe out, the breath sound stops, and nothing happens for a few moments until the next breath in which happens automatically. The key to relaxation is to exaggerate a normal belly breath. The deeper the breath, the greater the vagus stimulation. The vagus nerve interacts with the organs above and below the diaphragm. The vagus does not innervate the diaphragm but passes through it and establishes a connection between the brain and the gastrointestinal tract. The movement of the diaphragm around the vagus nerve stimulates the parasympathetic response, also called the relaxation response. An exaggerated diaphragmic breath activates the release of endorphin, melatonin, and serotonin, the relaxation hormones, stimulating the vagal breath. Stress causes a fight-or-flight response, which results in hyperventilation, shallow breathing, and can blow off the CO2 reserve decreasing breathing stimulation. A deep diaphragmatic breath slows down the breathing cycle and stimulates the vagus nerve, the phrenic nerve. Your phrenic nerve plays a critical role in your respiratory system to aid breathing. It's the only nerve in your nervous system that provides motor movement function to your diaphragm. It sends signals that cause the diaphragm to expand and contract. These movements allow your lungs to inhale and exhale air. In a state of stress, we tend to hold our breath and stop ourselves from breathing. This type of breathing triggers the sympathetic nervous system, stimulating the fight, flight or freeze response. Studies show that relaxed abdominal breathing stimulates the parasympathetic nervous system, 
rather than holding our breath, reducing anxiety and muscle tension. In theory, the phrenic sensory relays to the brain if the phrenic motor stimulates the diaphragm to expand and contract to create air exchange in the lungs. When you hold your breath, the sensory phrenic nerve registers that the diaphragm has stopped moving, which means you are not breathing and you have only 3-5 to five minutes to live, triggering anxiety. Breath holding overrides the benefits of vagal feel-good hormone activation. Breath holding increases stress by activating the release of stress hormones. Breathe and relax. When holding the breath, the phrenic nerve activates a sympathetic nervous system stress response. Rather than holding the breath, relaxed abdominal breathing stimulates the parasympathetic nervous system's relaxation response, which reduces anxiety and tension. Breathing, as nature intended, is the relaxing breath. 